Hello all, welcome back to Tech Tapter. So in this our series with Python with Google Cloud. Today we are going to see how we can use a DLP inspection using a Python. So earlier I have created video in Google Cloud how to create inspection job and how to identify the sensitive content in our cloud storage bucket and then how we can mask the sensitive content or we can hide that sensitive content just to avoid the data loss so this dlp is nothing but data loss prevention and which is used in google cloud currently to avoid any potential data loss and it is one of the best security feature provided by a google cloud so now i got a multiple request how we can use this along with the python so suppose your file is not in cloud storage and you want to use this inspection api on a file stored in particular location then how you can use that so I'll show you the demo here how we can use this a DLP API so first just try to understand how this DLP work so this uh, data loss prevention API scan the input data so suppose I have a input data in my file and this file contains a kind of a paragraph where the details are mentioned for a particular person so it can be its bank number it can be its credit card number it can be its mobile number or different personal information stored into that file so we have to run the dlp api and scan what are the sensitive information can be found into that file okay so for that in dlp there are certain info type provided so i will show you what are these info type so if i go to google documentation and first i'll check for india okay so what are the info type for india you can see india other individual gst individual and a pan individual so suppose i am scanning one file and i have to check if there is any pan number stored in any of the file and if it is stored it should give me an output okay that sensitive data is detected how we can do that so now i'll take this example only i'll try to find out the pan number of an indian individual if it is stored in a particular input string or input file it will flag me okay so now i'll go to my python code so this is my python code i'll just try to explain you so this is the credential i am storing the service account key in key.json i kept the file here if i keeping the file somewhere else then i have to mention that path here but currently i kept it simple here i am using this a dlp library and I'm creating the client now the content so this is the input string so I'm simply written here hello my name is Vishal and I'm going to bank and I simply mention my a dummy pan card number so I need not mention this is my pan number just I kept it okay this is my number and here I kept it this is my mobile number now I have to give which info type I have to scan so I have to scan Indian pan individual if it is there it will say okay the pan number found and how to scan using this inspect config and this is the api call and if it is no finding it will show no finding now let me open a terminal okay and let me execute this uh, dlp inspection okay and it should say the pan number found because i have mentioned pan number here so let me run this and we'll wait for output yeah now you could see it found one india pan individual so it is detected and this pan number is available in this input string so let me remove this okay i just remove this and let me run this again and now it is showing zero no finding okay it means it is detecting my pan number correctly even though i didn't mention it is a pan number because this uh, info type has certain their regular expression which determine okay this regular expression match to the indian pan number similarly suppose i have to check for mobile number now this is again considered as a personal data so i have to add a info type for mobile number so what i can do I will simply add one more info type here. So, name this type I will give phone number. Okay, let me first check if I have this info type. Yes, I have this info type. So, I can use this info type. 
so let me save it and let me run now it should find a two finding one for pan number and one for mobile number okay now you could see it found two finding one is for pan number another is for phone number so this is something very simple i am doing i am just passing the input string now suppose if i want to fetch it from a file so how i can do that so i already kept one file here and i have one uh, dummy paragraph where it is having the pan number uh, mobile number and some details so this uh, dummy paragraph i have put here and i want to inspect this file and identify if there is any sensitive content is there so currently i'm just giving two info type but if you want to scan for all sensitive data you can mention a multiple info types here so now instead of this content i want to read my file and i want to pass the content of file as the input string so how i can do that so first i will mention my file path so my file path is in the same folder and name is file.txt now i'll just open a file open file path in a read mode as file and i'll just put input string is equal to file dot a read okay and the content or i will put item so i'm just trying to put in this format value will be now input string so i'll just put value is equal to input string let's try to run this now we'll see if we found anything okay i think my console is not visible okay now you could see it got one pen number and one phone number from this file txt so suppose if i remove this phone number and scan again and we'll see if it is scanning the correctly okay now it found only indian pan number so in this way we can either scan from the file location stored on our system or we can even give the storage bucket path or even we can give a s3 bucket path there we need to provide a read access to the uh, bucket where we can have access to read the file and read the content so in this way we can use this dlp api using python to inspect a info type so that's it for this video if you have any further requirement on dlp which needs to be sorted out using python then let me know i'll try to help you out so we'll see you in a next video